So now let's look at some of the difference between alkenes and alkynes from alkanes. Now we remember from uh, when we were first introduced to alkanes that their definition is they're saturated, meaning they're only single bonds. We also looked at how these single bonds, these carbon-carbon single bonds, can rotate around one another. And that allows for all sorts of different conformational structures. So the same exact compound, but it just looks different because of the rotations. Alkenes and alkynes have restricted rotation. We'll see that on the next slide. Um, because of these double bonds. Right now, let's just focus on the bond angles. So carbons that have four bonds are going to be, uh, those bonds are going to be as far apart as possible based on the Vesper theory, if you remember that. And those bond angles are 109.5. The double bond, for example, here in ethylene, um, allows the carbon to have only three charge clouds or electron domains. And so these bonds want to be as far apart as possible, and they do that through bond angles of 120. And that's a trigonal planar, which means this um, double bond and the attached bonds are all in the same plane. So unlike the saturated alkene, which is in three dimensions, this double bond puts this in a plane and bond angles of 120. And then the alkyne, which has a triple bond, is linear in its geometry, and the bond angles are 180. So, oops, skipped a, oh, now here we go. So in the next slide, um, as I said earlier, this double bond does not allow rotation. And because it doesn't allow rotation, we have... Um, the possibility of a different type of isomerism for alkenes. So as we look at this double bond, we consider um, sides of the above and below the double bond, if you will, and ends. So the substituents on the ends are substituents that are bonded to the same carbon, and the substituents on the sides are above and below that double bond. So because of this lack of rotation, we sometimes have um, an isomerism known as cis or trans. And when we're in the cis conformation, um, two groups are on the same side of the double bond. So here we have cis-2-butene, two hydrogens are on the same side, and the two methyl groups are on the same side. In trans isomerism, they are on opposite sides. So these are actually two different chemicals. They will react differently. And if you remember in lab, I talked about cis um, and trans isomerism, isomerism in fatty acids. That's what trans um, fat is, this trans double bond in that trans fat due to its processing. Um, so they are different. These are cis-trans isom isomerism, and these isomers are different. Okay, so you will be expected to identify cis and trans isomerism, and in a line structure, the cis bond is going to have look like a boat, and in a line structure, the trans is going to look more like a mountain or a zigzag. Now, just because there's a double bond does not mean there has to be cis or trans isomerism. For example, if a carbon is bonded to two of the same substituents, and on this slide we see the carbon in the double bond is bonded to two hydrogens, there cannot be cis or trans isomerism because, um, regard, because these two substituents are the same. But if cis or trans isomerism is possible, as we see here in cis 2 pentene and trans 2 pentene, where in the cis pentene um, the two hydrogens are on the same side of the double bond, and in the trans 2 pentene the hydrogens are on the opposite side. So if cis and trans isomerism is possible, those two isomers are different chemicals, and we indicate which is which by an italic cis or trans before uh, the entire name. So pause this video and draw the line structures for cis and trans isomers of 2-hexene. Now the answer here in the PowerPoint is a little awkward because the hydrogens are written and in a line structure we never write the hydrogens if they're bonded to a carbon. But they just wanted you to clearly see that in the cis conformation, which we see here looks like a boat, the hydrogens are on the same side of the double bond, and in the trans um, configuration, the hydrogens are on the opposite side. And if you wrote your trans 
uh, configuration in more of the mountain format, which is what I would do, completely correct.